Uh, a couple of weeks ago, weekends ago now, I did a, a my favorite course, self-actualization in Canterbury. And a man came and he had never heard of me. Uh, he said he trusted the person that told him to do it. And he didn't really question it. And there was some confusion around the money and some things came down. And at the end he said, I would still do this course even though I paid more than everybody else because with the currency translation, it... Uh, it was my company's mistake, but but he said he was fine with it. And I just talked to him. And he what he said to me is, he said, I'm really, really confident right now. He said, I'm confident in me. I like me. He said, it's like I have the permission to be who I want to be. He said, since your weekend, people who classically I haven't got along with it don't like me, like me. He said, people at work, people that I know that I... He said, there are some people still, of course, that I don't get along with. He said, but... And I don't know if I've shifted or if they have shifted. But one of the things that happened in the class, we got talking about the stages of consciousness, where you do something over and over and over again, and you just do it because of what you've learned. Right? Then all of a sudden, somebody says, hmm, that's a little inappropriate. Or you see somebody else doing something different, and you think that's different. And we were talking about that, and he said that that morning he had telephoned somebody and he said up until this morning he said I would blame them for it he said I make these telephone calls I blame it on the person that I'm calling and then it sets up weeks of conflict in my life and it is so uncomfortable for me he said but this is the first time that I've seen that I am the one doing it Conscious living, waking up, looking at who, what you've done and looking at the repercussions and then all you have to do is make a decision as to whether you want to continue that or not. But if you don't, if you're not conscious of what you're doing, right, there's no way to change it. Where does consciousness come from? I don't know. We said in the weekend and now he says that he likes him, which is what happened to me 20 some years ago. I really, really found me enjoyable. That's why I pursued this as a career. That's why I continue to do this. And when I hear that one thing from people, when people say, man, I, I, I like me. And it may have been years since they've learned to judge themselves harshly and criticize themselves and be really, really hard on themselves. And, and they stop liking themselves. But one of the things that I, I want to look at is, is calling my classes conscious living, waking up, being conscious of your impact, looking at what you do and not pretending that it's somebody else's fault. Not blaming them, not, not looking at, oh my God, how could you do this to me? You know, when you look at, oh wait a minute, I seem to have set this in place. Isn't that embarrassing? Um, have fun. That's probably the rule that I want to follow the most. And my book is Noticing Fixes More Than Fixing. You can buy it online or you can get a paperback copy. Hmm. How antiquated, huh? <laughs>